By this point, many students notice some disquieting things about Linux. In some ways, Linux is about as stable and well-defined as the Jello served at church events. Your Linux system has thousands of directories and files. Knowing all this stuff is probably beyond human comprehension. The Linux Essentials document paints a picture of Linux as it was 15 years ago. And it keeps referring to files and directories that are not on your Linux system. Many of the online resources, such as Wikipedia, describe Linux features that seem to have disappeared in the last couple of years, such as run levels or init scripts. The official Linux documentation, such as the Linux standard base or the file system hierarchy standard, describes stuff that doesn't seem to exist in current versions of Linux. By now, you should be wondering four important questions. What is Linux, really? How much of this crap do I need to know to pass the course? How can anybody say that they know Linux when all this stuff keeps changing all the time? Is everybody who claims to be a Linux expert just faking it? Nobody defines Linux. Microsoft defines Windows, Apple defines OS X, lots of people try to define Linux, but nobody has to listen to anybody. Everybody has all the tools they need to make their own flavor of Linux. Linux is more like carpentry. Carpenters make buildings, but the buildings aren't carpentry. Carpentry is tools, materials, skilled people, and objectives. Linux is also tools, materials, skilled people, and objectives. Every year, Linux gains new tools, materials, skilled people, and objectives. So every year, Linux changes. But somebody who was skilled at Linux 20 years ago can still work with Linux. Some Linux features change very slowly. For example, command line skills are the hammers of Linux. They never change. Most Linux changes are pleasant and easy. Using modern package management is like moving from using a saw to using a powered saw. Everything got easier. Every so often, Linux has big changes in one area. Changing the Linux startup processes to system D was like changing from building foundations out of stone to using port concrete. System D made changes to the basement of Linux, but upstairs is still the same. As you gain experience with Linux, you will find that the more Linux changes, the more it stays the same. And good Linux people can always find a place to use their skills. 